yeah all right it's happening hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're doing something a little different we are coloring our hair red as you guys have noticed I took my extensions out you guys know I had hair down to my waist it was beautiful it was balayage it was like hair goals okay but I was bored I got very bored so I had Austin he took some pliers took those babies out I then cut my hair into this full angled cute moment and then I colored my hair my root color all the way down and it's been fun for the four days that I've had it but I'm over it okay I need change I need something fun you guys this is why I'm not allowed to not have extensions because whenever I have extensions in I'm like okay this hair was a lot of money I can't touch it whenever I don't have extensions it's bad like it's bad. I get so bored. I just want to change it all the time. So that's, you know, what we're doing today. And hopefully we're going to go from this dark level three brunette to a really pretty vibrant red. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how we're going to achieve this, if you guys want to see if we're going to achieve this, um, you know, please keep watching. Okay, so before starting out, I'm not a professional. I have like professional knowledge. I did go to hair school. I actually did really well in hair school, but after I got out, I was just over it. I didn't want to do it anymore. My main reasoning for going to cosmetology school is because I wanted to be a makeup artist. So I never got my license to be a hairstylist, so I've never been in a salon. I do my friends and family's hair, I do what I know, and that's it. Hopefully gonna be like a little better than just someone just like do it yourself and hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some little tips and tricks. I think I have about like 80% faith that this is gonna turn out. But then there's like that 20% where I'm just like, this could go really bad really fast. Now I know if you guys have ever been interested in coloring your hair right at home, you have heard of these products. This is the L'Oreal High Color and L'Oreal High Color Highlights. These are horrible for your hair, okay? Nine times out of ten, you have to do it like two to three times in order to get the color that you want because your roots are always gonna pull, you're gonna have a band in the middle, like it's just not a good situation. These dyes claim that you don't have to pre-lighten your hair because there is lightener within this product, even though they're terrible for your hair. To me, it's, uh, it's just hair. I wish I cared more about my hair, but I don't. My mom and Brad Mondo are screaming right now, like screaming, because both of them hate red hair. This is gonna go two ways. It's either gonna be perfect I'm gonna be so happy um, or I'm gonna end up on one of Brad Mondo's videos with a hair fail I mean either way is a win okay either way is a win so I haven't decided on the exact formula that we're gonna be doing but I am gonna go ahead and start with lightening our hair so we're gonna be using the color charm well of bleach and again all of the products that I'm using today I got at Sally's but I'm not suggesting that you guys do this okay I will always 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 say go to a professional I know I'm being a hypocrite right now. I like doing my hair myself whenever it's short and I don't have extensions. Um, and then whenever I'm over it, I'll go to a professional and then they can just like do me up, like do me right. But for now, I just I just wanna do it. I want change. We are going in with the Wella Color Charm Bleach. We are going to be taking that with 30 Developer. If you are following this tutorial and if you are planning on doing this yourself, please, please be careful. Okay, the weight of those words, I feel like isn't strong enough. When you're using 30 developer with bleach and you're not experienced with bleach, you have a very high probability of your ends breaking off and stringy, like stretchy bubble gum. You're going red. You don't need your hair to be this bright blonde, okay? If your hair is orange and brassy, that's okay because you're going a warmer color. That warmth and that brassiness is going to help you when you're going into that red color. Just keep that in mind. Please be careful and please be mindful 
and please do your research before you guys just go and slap bleach on your hair. We have our foils. You need foils if you want your hair to lift as evenly as possible. I'm getting a little nervous. We're starting with the front portion of our hair. We're gonna take fairly thin sections. The bigger sections that you guys take, the more chance that you have of it getting patchy, not getting all of the hair within the bleach. So we're gonna start pretty thin, and I'm just going to lay a foil underneath just like this. We're just going to start about here, and I want a pretty low root, so I'm just going to feather this up. So then you want to fully saturate your ends, okay? So just flip that baby up. You want this to be white, like you want this to look like toothpaste. If this does not look completely covered, your hair is not gonna lift and it's gonna be a bad situation. Making sure that everything is nice and saturated and then we're just doing a slight little feather at the top just so we don't have any harsh lines going from that very dark root to this so I'm just going to fold I don't want to fold the feathered pieces you're gonna go ahead and fold it and then this part doesn't have any bleach on it so then you're gonna fold it all the way up you can just flip that up and move on to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way around my head and then I will show you guys how I'm going to do the back. Our foils are in. I'm going to check these over here. We're definitely lifting. I'm definitely gonna have to wash this out before like the whole back is done because I don't need this that light. I only need this to get to about a level six and surprisingly, we're basically there. Do you guys see that? Okay, so I honestly, I'm probably going to give this side of my head about five more minutes and then we're just going to wash it out. Now, we're going to do the back. I'm kind of worried about doing the back myself, but like the rest of this video, we're just going to wing it. I'm going to go ahead and just split my hair down the back, section it off. I'm going to take my little clip, clip the right side of my hair off so we're only working with the left side of my hair right now. And we're just gonna take a slice just like we did with the front of my hair. So we have a thin piece. I think that's the best way to do it is just bring your hair forward and lay the foils flat on your head. That way you guys can see exactly what you're doing. That means you're working with the underneath portion of your hair. So make sure you pull it forward and make sure you're getting it completely saturated before you go in with that foil. Again, this is just to ensure that you're getting the hair completely covered because we don't want any spots, don't want any disasters happening. And then go back through and fully saturate it. Take our foil, lay it flat and blend. I don't want to leave this sitting there because they are finished. So I'm going to go ahead, rinse these out, and then come back and finish the rest of my head. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and washed out all the bleach. Um, it looked really good, and I'm so excited. I'm now going in with the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. I shampooed the bleach out, and then I went ahead and just popped this on my end. I just want to make sure we're keeping our ends nice and moisturized because, like I said, um, I do feel like I'm going to end up using the L'Oreal high color highlights. My friend Molly's going to murder me, um, but that's just the best color. I definitely want to make sure my ends are staying nice and moisturized because that dye is a little, little harsh on your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and let this mask sit in my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll pop back on and do the red. You guys, my friend Molly, she texted me and said you're a bad influence because she is now doing her hair as well. So, whenever you guys see my reveal at the end, maybe we will be able to get a reveal of Molly's hair. Okay, you guys, we are back. We are looking a little warm, a little brassy. If you guys can see here, this is my extension. I forgot to let the extension sit a little longer on this side. I just washed it out with the rest of my hair, whereas Everywhere else, I left the extension on just a little bit longer and we got more of an even tone. I decided to bleach one of my extensions. I washed it out once it got to this level. And then I just put the plain red hot on top just to see what would happen if we only had to do one process. 
it's not cute so you guys can see the difference this one over here just looks like it's washed out and just not cute whereas this one is just red velvet goodness i don't know i think i'm gonna do two processes <laughs> i know it's gonna feel a little less than perfect after doing two processes of the l'oreal high color highlights but you know you do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the high color highlights just in the shade red. So the whole tube is one and a half ounces. So I'm just gonna take my little measuring cup and we're gonna do 30 volume. I feel like that's a mistake. I'm, I, 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 I feel like I should do 20 volume. We're gonna do 30. Then I'm also taking a little whisk and I'm stirring it. Whenever you guys are mixing your red hair color, try and use a whisk because the particles, the molecules, all that jazz are so big that it's chunky. And you want to make sure that you get this completely mixed and do a super smooth consistency before you go in and pop it on your head. Also, if you're doing this in your bathroom, Dexter that ish up. Like cover that stuff in saran wrap everywhere because this red color, if it gets on anything, it's done for it. Like it's stained. I'm doing it on my apartment floor carpet. I'm just gonna go in section by section. So you have that completely saturated. I'm just going to flip it, and then we're gonna move on to the next section. Again, you guys, just like the bleach, you want to take smaller sections. The thicker sections that you take, the harder it is to ensure that you're getting every single strand. I'm going to continue to work all the way around my head with the shade red and then whenever I'm finished I will pop back on we'll wash it out and then we'll go in with the red hot shade so now we wait 30 minutes um this is so red this is so red we're gonna be putting a darker red on top of it I'm talking myself up right now because it's gonna be fine if it's horrible we will adjust our plan accordingly <laughs> You guys, uh, it's Ronald McDonald red. And look, it got on my root right here. And the contrast between my root and red is so, like the contrast is so high that look at that. That's horrible. That's not gonna do. I think I'm gonna give my hair a little bit of a break tonight. But tomorrow I think I'm gonna go in with a root color and kind of blend all this out and then go in with Red Hot with a 10 developer so that we're only depositing and just darken and tone this down just a little bit. But um, we're definitely red. We, we definitely achieved the red. So if Ronald McDonald red is what you were going for, um, you're welcome. Okay, so the last time you guys saw my hair, it was like Ronald McDonald bright red. And I said I was gonna wait until the next day to do my hair, but I was way too impatient, so I went ahead and did it. This is the color. <laughs> I am so freaking happy with how it turned out. I filmed this process getting to this level, um, and I went back to look at the footage, and it wasn't there, because I never hit record. It's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I did, show you guys the products that I used. So in the sun, it is, it's a little on the bright side. Um, it definitely has some like pink reflex in it, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like the pinky reds. I like more of like the orangey reds. So I'm gonna see how this fades. Whenever I go back to refresh my color, I'm not gonna be using the L'Oreal High Color color. That's just too harsh. But I am obsessed with how it turned out. I went back in. I'll show you guys the product that I used, but I just did my root and I feathered it down all the way around just to get rid of that um, harsh root line and then where the red was. And I think it turned out so freaking good, you guys. I am so obsessed. So let me go ahead and go over the products that way you guys know exactly what I did to get this red. How we did the root color. This is the Age Beautiful Color in the shade 4RR. We also took the Age Beautiful in the shade 3NN. I did one ounce of the 4RR 
and half an ounce of the 3NN. Now, if you really just want an intense, deep red root, the 4RR will get you there. You don't have to add the 3NN. I did not want an intense red root, um, and this alone kind of gives me more of like an RV vibe, so it definitely gives more of like a red violet kind of tone, and that was not what we were going for, so I went ahead and did half an ounce of the 3NN. And that is what gave us this really nice deep root and then you can see the reflex of red whenever you're outside but other than that it just gives you a really nice dark root that blends into your red now while I had that color sitting on my roots I did go in with the L'Oreal high color reds in the shade red hot again this is not high color highlights it's just high color now this says to pair this color with 30 developer my hair had been through it. I did not feel comfortable putting 30 Developer back on my hair, and I didn't need any extra lift. That red was light enough, bright enough, so I went ahead and paired it with 20 Volume. I was gonna do 10 Volume, because 20 Volume does still give you a good amount of lift, but I was afraid that it wasn't gonna give me as much of a vibrant color that I got with the test strand on my extension, so I did end up doing 20 Developer. And then I just went strand by strand, and then once I got to the part of where my root color was. I took my fingers and I just blended the two shades together and slowly blended it down and that is what gave us this really nice blend between the red and the root color. I'm a huge huge fan of Dimension. If you guys do this color I highly suggest doing the dark root. Obviously this is nowhere near a natural color but you do want to make it look as natural and like you got it done at a salon as much as possible. So adding that dark root and just adding a little bit of dimension back in your hair is going to make it look more professional. It's not going to make it look as flat. It's just really pretty to have that dark base go into this deep red velvet red. But that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do attempt to do this color please let me know. Please tag me. Like I said, I'm not suggesting that you do this at home because it does involve lightener. Lightener can be very scary doing it by yourself. You could burn your hair off. It could just turn into a huge disaster and then it would cost even more money for your hairstylist to fix it than it would have been just to go to them to do it. But if you feel comfortable and if you like how this hair turned out and you do end up trying it, definitely tag me, definitely let me know. But that is it you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below and check out the description box. It's gonna have all the products that we use in today's video. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button because you know you want to subscribe to my channel. And then if you want, you can hit the notification bell. That way you guys get notified anytime I post a new video. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.